already. Whoa, this is a lot against one high valiance. And there's still Chichapex up, but Chichapex should be enough to hold those one hive aliens. And as you can see, we got a hive and gen going up, and the lots amount of rest they're using for Orsis in there. And I'm switching back and forth, trying to keep keep track of those jetpackers hunting fades. If you can manage to kill those fades, Doctor is pretty low on his HP. And this is coming now down to Generator. This is all about Generator. RJ needs to push for that hive and needs to kill it. And the longer he hesitates, the more bad it looks for them. Although he should be still an advantage going for still one hive aliens. And he needs almost a full minute for the hive to grow up. This is a lot of time to fly there, put the face gate up and kill all those aliens. But he is going for Atrium, I don't know why. The only jetpackers he has in his team are capping notes. This is this is about a joke. I don't understand. And this fate, yeah. Blocked nice. No motion, but good team play. Uh, maybe just a bad fate, as you could say, but he's putting he's going for Atrium, yeah, he's going for map control. Archie is going for map control instead of going for the hive. So he decides to let aliens have two hives. I don't think this is a wise choice. As you could see there are already three jetpacks died to like one hive skulks or fades. And if they have two two hives up and getting sensories, those jetpacks are getting way more fragile. And now he's forced to beacon. Because of one fade and base. Putting up a phase gate. And the aliens are back with four nodes. Four nodes and two hives are a good yard, a good start. Um, for this. And this phase gate is almost getting grinded. I think, yeah, one, one jetpacker down, Show lost his jetpack too. We hit five jetpackers, now only one is left. And it's Osmo, as I could see, he didn't kill much with that jetpack. Maybe he was capping all the time, or saving res not. Yeah, the only jetpack shouldn't go cap. He should more guard or hunt down life forms, especially one one high life forms. Or go pressure, or anything, but not cap. So, oh, we got the second jetpack up, yeah. The tech is up. You should have the rest. Instead of dropping more jetpacks, I think RGA went for going crazy upgrades. Don't know if weapon 3 is growing right at the moment, but... Just guessing from the mount jetpacks, you just only redrop one jetpacker, so you should have a lot of rest there. Unless he wasn't forced to drop like 1 billion medpacks, you should have weapon 3 going up. Weapon 3 is pretty powerful against non carapace fates. Three good shots and the, the shotgun and it makes kaboom. The hype should be up any second if it's not up right now. Yeah, this this movement chamber was there for like I don't know, seven minutes since they killed the hive and didn't came back and kill the notes instantly. This is a lot of small mistakes coming up together, but still Marines have a good map control, although it's only five nodes back. They had six in the beginning. With jetpacks they lost more nodes than they had without jetpacks. This is really strange. Um, at least they could manage to kill J turn, I missed that part. And as you can hear the second fate is up now. And with three jetpacks in the field, so this comes pretty down, Not only to jetpack versus fate play. How they're doing. But I fear both teams are not that um really really strong in marine play. I <laughs> fear we're gonna see another alien win here. Oh man, if 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 Archie is gonna lose this, this is this is a shame. He had he had total map control. He had a lot of full jetpack team and only one hive for aliens. Losing this game is really kinda joke. So let's see if he still can win, manage to win this with his jetpackers. It's just getting harder for them right now. Against two Hive Skulls, Focus Fates. And less rest control, as he had before. But he keeps managing um, to kill nodes, that's what he will need to do. And they're performing his job. The J turn is rebuilt. But Elliot also go for crazy um, node killing. 
That's what I need to do to kill all the nodes, so I cannot drop like equipment forever. He has a full jetpack team backup again. And still only weapon 2. I think I was wrong in my guess. He's going for weapon 3. Nice job by Sho. Hunting down at Fade. And he can't refade. This is really good. If you can kill Fades, they can refade immediately. This is a really good boost for you. And you have to use it, because there's no fade on the field at the moment. Maybe just Doctor, don't know. And the Hype is dropped in Hangar. I missed it, the Hype is dropped in Hangar. There is a Sensory for a Sneaky Hive, but didn't happen. Because RJ found out. And now he needs to push. All comes down here for Hangar. He has to kill his Hive, or he immediately loses his game. Incredible. Incredible, though you... We saw the beginning, but... Yeah, he has to do something now. He has to kill a tie. Well, it looks really good if we have five jetpackers up here, full equipped. That hive should go down. Especially with just one fade around. They don't know why those fades are too many facing back and forth. Maybe just one jetpacker should stay around base. So they don't have like three people forcing back and forth all the time. It's something you see a lot on games. When there's like, hey, my base is under attack, come back, the AA is going down, or arm slip's going down. No one is in base, and suddenly you have four marines in base, no one is a face gate spot, and then the face gate spot's getting attacked, and four people facing back at the same time, and then arm slip's getting attacked because everyone moved out of marine start, and so on and so on. This is bad team play. You just don't have at least one staying close to face gates and keep look on the minimap. You always have to watch your minimap like, okay, we have four marines in gen, do I need to be in gen right now? No, I need to be somewhere else. This is a pretty important part of team play, many people forget all along. Although this game is so old, you really should know what to do. And he's pushing again for notes, Elliot's is doing good recapping. This is like insta recapping one, once the note goes down. And this is all for rest control right now. This is such a rest game. And Archie decides to take the push for ops now. Maybe too early, as aliens are still three nodes up. If you decide to push for hive, this could really turn the game around. Because against two fade hives, uh, sorry, two high fades and skulks, this could be dangerous. You could lose all the equipment. The moment you lose all the equipment, um, aliens are so free to kill all map control you had and then you're really in a disadvantage and flying into the hive is not the best idea into the hive against even two hive skulks can raid those marines especially in offside if you have a jetpack in there this is horrible to jetpack there's like so many obstacles in a way and especially that platform I hate that platform if you get stuck under there it's easy to get killed as a jetpacker so far still no jetpacker died don't know if the fates just screwed it up. It didn't have get some hits up. But this comes down now for up, so he's really going all in for it. This is an all in push, and as you can see again, yeah, he has to beacon because just one fate is in base and no one's guarding base. Of course this is gonna be really hard now for this lonely jetpack here here at the high location. One should guard base. Or the minimap, or something else, yeah, because the fate is just pushing again for the base, and I think he's even killing the jetpack air base. 